of engaging in Canadian charitable life. For the last 40 years, the Prince of Wales has had a long-standing relationship with this country. With that in mind, four years ago, it was decided to set up a Canadian charitable office that would bring together his various charitable activities. In light of the 2014 Royal Tour, CPAC takes a look at the work of the Prince's Charities Canada. I know through the work of my Prince's Trust with young people, just what you can do to turn people's lives around uh, by building self-confidence and self-esteem. And it's, it's not rocket science, but so many people don't have that. The moment they achieve that, through the kind of personal development opportunities that can be provided, different programs and so on, suddenly the opportunities uh, are there for them to develop their potential skills and talents. The Prince of Wales has a deep and enduring relationship with Canada. He's been visiting here for 40 years, has visited every province and territory, and really the purpose of his charitable work is to have a deeper engagement with Canadians on the issues that matter to them. Matthew Rowe is Manager of Operations and Partnerships for Prince's Charities Canada. Ultimately, the goal of all of his charitable work is to transform Canadian lives and build sustainable Canadian communities. He will one day be our king, and he wants to ensure that the country we leave to our own children and grandchildren is one that we will be proud to pass on. The Queen's representative in Canada, Governor General David Johnston, talks about the impact of the Prince's charities in Canada. Well, I think first and foremost it can it encourages all of us to think about our neighbor, uh, to discover our own giving moment that we could can help. And when we see the prince so heavily involved in encouraging that sentiment in Canada, it certainly spreads to all of us. Prince's Charities Canada works closely with educators, business leaders, transitioning military personnel, Aboriginal representatives and community leaders to make a difference in the lives of Canadians. Prince's Charities Canada works with organizations across the country uh, that share in the Prince's vision. We also build links with other organizations associated with the Prince in the UK, Australia and other Commonwealth countries. The organization's work is focused on the Prince of Wales' core interests, education and young people, responsible business, the built environment and global sustainability. So some of His Royal Highness's interesting activities here include the Prince's Operation Entrepreneur, which is a unique Made in Canada program that helps transitioning military personnel who want to start their own business. We provide them with the education, the financing, and the mentorship needed to get a business off the ground. Uh, one of our other initiatives is the Prince's Seeing is Believing, which engages CEOs on social issues. Before the Canadian Charitable Office was established in 2010, the various initiatives were coordinated through offices in London, England. Our goal was to bring it all together under one office with a mandate of building on his existing work and looking for new opportunities for His Royal Highness to engage with Canadians. Roe maintains the Prince of Wales is not just a figurehead when it comes to how these organizations are run. <laughs> He is very much involved and he does speak with our president on a regular basis. He is, he's a very hands-on kind of boss. These aren't just sort of initiatives that are done in his name. He takes an active interest in not only what we're doing, but how it's being done. So how are the charities funded? Princess Charities Canada is not a grant-making body. We're not an endowed foundation. So with each of these uh, activities, we have to find the money to help make it happen. But that's part of what we're able to do. His Royal Highness is able to open a lot of doors. And in, in many cases, with these different initiatives, his own foundation provides the seed funding to get them off the ground. This year, Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, visited three provinces from May 18th to 21st. During a royal tour, Prince's Charities Canada is responsible for coordinating events on each stop of the tour that have a charitable component. So why are so many Canadians so engaged during these visits? Well, we have a somewhat unique form of government, don't we? A constitutional monarchy that's evolved over a thousand years and for 150 years almost uh, here in Canada. And uh, the royal family, of course, is central to that. They represent uh, the rule of law within a constitutional monarchy. So when we have a visit from one of them, it reminds us of this personal connection to uh, our form of government, which we hold very dear. 
The Governor General talks about what kind of role he takes on when there's royal family visiting. Well, the first one is officially to welcome a member of the royal family to Canada on an official visit. But beyond that, to ensure that with the many, many people who are involved in organizing the visit, that the, the member of the royal family, the couple, feel very much at home here in Canada, feel very welcomed, and that they see this as not a, a visit, but really a returning to home. The last royal tour was in 2012. Back then, Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, made stops in New Brunswick, Ontario, and Saskatchewan. This year's royal tour took them to Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and Manitoba. Reporting from Ottawa, Ontario, I'm Heather Seaman.